Dear faithful, today I'll be speaking to you about Holy H. Miyazin, the mother see the cathedral, and why we have to make a pledge for, for it today. In the past, we know that the Armenian Church is known as Apostolic Church, as in the present, because of the two apostles, Thaddeus and Bartholomew, they preached Christianity in Armenia. But it took almost a hundred years so that St. Gregory the Illuminator can bring in his vision Christ, the only begotten Son, down into the land of Armenia to make it sacred and to adopt the people as true Christians. And since then, the Mother's Church became true mother to all the churches of Armenians wherever we went. Even today, when the Armenians in diaspora, we go somewhere, one of the first thing we do, we erect a church where we pray with our forefathers, with the same God as our forefathers did. But in the past 1700 years, we know the history of Armenia, how it was overrun by various nations and people. So we can see that as our land of Armenia was desecrated, so Mother Church H. Meyazin as well. But the Armenian people rebuilt it. And throughout the 1700 years, the prayers never ceased being raised to our Heavenly Father. Throughout in the past history, we know that the Catholicoi who was residing in Echmeazin because of the cathedral and as well as the uh, capital of Armenia, once it was moved, so the Catholicos was moved as well to cities like Zvartnot, Tabin, Ani, Romgola, and Sis. And eventually, in 1441, it was brought back to its original place in Echmeazin. This simple act, which seems very simple from the beginning, it gave a new impetus to the Armenian people. Because of this act, the Armenian national movements of independence started with the head of the Catholicos. And later we see in the movement of the Karabakh, of Tabit Beg, Israel Ori. And we see in the cultural field as well, not only in the past, Mesrop Mashdot created the Armenian alphabet. And not only in the army that our mothers, they taught how to be brave at Vartanans. The same we see eventually in the 15th, 16th centuries, when the first Armenian books and Bibles were printed in Europe, and eventually a printing house was established in Echmead in itself, even before other countries in the Caucasus. And then we know that Armenia suffered again during the genocide and as well as during the Soviet regime. But the mother church stood firm. The last renovation had been done in Armenia during the reign of Catholicos Vaskin I. And recently we thought that the, the church basically was in good shape. However, when the Catholicos started, and we know that today, Echmiadzin is under observation of UNESCO. So they made the, the last couple of years a thorough study, and they found out that from the foundation, it needs renovation. From the foundation, the columns, all the way to the cupola. Sometimes the stones themselves have to change, sometimes the cement. So there is so much to do. Something which is started small, it was unimaginably that it is grown out of proportion. This is the purpose that His Holiness Karakin II has appointed Archbishop Hovnan Derderian, the primate of the Western Diocese of USA, to spearhead this fundraising. And he's been visiting South America, North America, Europe, and the still continues to come here as well uh, to make sure that we participate in this endeavor in which every Armenian is important to be actively participating. And as I said, uh, it's not important how much we do, but it's important that we feel that Echmiadin speaks to our hearts and to our minds. 
And may God, the founder of Holy H. Meyazin, the cathedral, preserve the Mother Church for the coming generations. Mm -hmm.